Welcome back to Web Cafe AI, where we do daily chat GPT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be building out a Zap with GPT for onboarding for service based businesses. More specifically, we're going to be looking at how to build a Zap using Calendarly. So when you get a lead and a scheduled appointment from Calendarly, we can set up an automatic AI generated email that is going to be put into draft mode that you could possibly send out to the client if you choose to do so. All right, let's go ahead and start off here. We're going to say Calendarly AI email from here. Let's go ahead and make sure we set up our trigger, which is obviously going to be Calendarly. I'm going to choose the event of invitee created. I'm going to hit continue, continue. We're going to go ahead and test this. But before we test this, let's go ahead and just walk through the process of what we do here at Web Cafe AI to get this test trigger. All right, let's go ahead and make that test data that's going to be available for Zap so we can manipulate it. For now, we're going to go to our main onboarding for possible clients here at Web Cafe AI. We're going to choose a date. We're going to say we want to talk to an account manager at 9.30 a.m. We're going to put in our name here. It's going to be John Appleseed. We're going to put in our test email here, which is going to be your course's email. And then from now, we're going to say essentially the context of the call. So we are a business looking for AI content creation. We want AI articles, AI social media posts, and more. Let's say that the business that's potentially being onboarded here wants to be is in the restaurant industry. And let's go ahead and make sure we spell this correct here. Restaurant. All right, from here, we're going to go ahead and hit schedule event. All right, perfect. So then this lead goes over to our back end and we realize, okay, there it looks like there is a meeting coming up. Let's go jump back over to Zap. All right, we went ahead and tested that trigger. And as you see here, our lead comes up here, restaurant industry, the information we put in, we're going to head, go ahead and hit continue here. So now that that information's come in, we're going to go ahead and set up a GBT block here. So we're going to go to chat GBT. And we're going to do conversation. And we're going to just basically format how we want to uh, set up a draft email. Obviously, this can be used in a bunch of contexts here. Uh, one of our clients like using it to set up a AI generated video that is specific and tailored to the individual's inquiry about joining or onboarding to their business. There is a bunch of context you can do here. What we're going to do here is simply just set up a AI generated email and have it as a draft. So from here, we're going to set up the parameters. We're going to say clients name, semicolon parentheses, invite name. We're going to say clients, business, semicolon parentheses, and we're going to go ahead and come down here to find the specific thing. We're going to go ahead and just do a little bit of a search here. Let's do restaurant. Okay, cool. Question and response to response. We do parentheses. Parentheses always condenses the data here. And then we're going to say uh, what they are looking for. Are looking for semicolon parentheses and then that's going to be the little big block here which is going to be the question and answer to the first response semicolon and we're going to say uh we're going to add some context here context you are a ai automation agency called web cafe ai this is a potential client who just scheduled a meeting with an account manager. So we wanna give as much information as we can here. We wanna give as much context to GBT so our responses are tailored. Let's go ahead and up our model to GBT4 as we're dealing with more comprehensive looks on, you know, we wanna make sure content is as effective as possible. So we went ahead and upped it to GPT-4. Let's add a little bit of a memory key here. We're going to say on email, as you know, memory keys are identified essentially if you're using chat GPT's like regular UI, think of it as like a new chat. This is going to fine tune the ability so that our outputs are consistent and reliable. From here, we're going to say generate a response to this email, giving a possible suggestion for what they are looking for for and and a CTA to look at a an onboarding PDF. Should say that. Obviously, what we can do here is we can add more context here. You could give more context like, hey, here are our plans, here is the situation, and, and basically an overview of like what happens when a potential person converts 
But for now, we're just gonna say generate a response to this email, giving a possible suggestion for what they are looking for and a CTA looking uh, at an onboarding PDF. From here, we're gonna hit continue and we're gonna test this action. We may need to fine tune this a little bit more to make it look better, but for now, let's see what it comes up with. All right, so as you see here, we have our email that we're looking for, but as you can probably tell, a lot of text and obviously we don't want subject line identified. There's, there's a lot of stuff we gotta clean up here. So let's do a couple things. Let's go ahead and do a parameter block here. We're gonna say uh, limit the body of the paragraph to four sentences. And then we're gonna do one other thing. We're gonna say for the subject line of the email, just generate the subject, no text before or after and what you're going to find out is we're going to be able to just do this off one gbt block in the past we may needed to before i jump into that a little further we're going to add a one here we want to start a new chat as we want to fine tune the output to be better and we don't want to use the previous output here as reference but as i was saying essentially we're going to try to essentially build out this email and have the ai generated subject line and the body built in one chat gbt block to mitigate cost on your end all right, so it wasn't able to necessarily interpret what I meant by not having the subject here. But as you see here, we we're able to get a more condensed version of the email. And honestly, this won't even pose that big of an issue because we're not automatically sending it. We are just sending it as a draft. So you'll see what I mean by that as we get to it. But for now, we have the contents of the possible email here. I'm going to set up a formatter block as this is going to allow me to separate the subject line from the body of the email and use those two separate variables to build out the draft email. So we're going to do text formatter, text and we're gonna do a uh, split. And from here, we're gonna do the input as that output that we just got here. And we're gonna do the separator. Uh, basically, first we're gonna do this all separate fields and then the separator, let me go ahead and grab that real quick. So this is a nice little um, reference sheet that Zapier has and we're gonna use the new line function. We come over here, we're gonna paste that, we're gonna hit continue and test that action. As you see here, we were able to just get the output of the subject AI driven content solutions for your restaurant. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and set up our email block here, which is going to be Gmail. And we're going to go ahead and say create a draft. We're going to continue. Uh, we're going to choose our account, which is for now are just going to be our courses. We're going to send it to ourselves. Um, obviously, you would choose whatever email that is your main business email. We're going to do the subject. We're going to do that text that we just formatted. And then from here, we're going to go for the two to the individual that just, you know, signed up through our form on Calendly. And then here we can go ahead and add the body or the, you know, little bit formatted body. And then that is all that is necessary. If you want to go ahead and attach that PDF I was referencing, you can go ahead and attach it here. But for now, that is sufficient enough. If I were to head and hit test action, let's go ahead and see what this draft looks like over on the courses side. All right. So as you see here, the draft shows up. And if I went ahead and click this, we have the subject line automatically put in there. Obviously, I could have formatted it so it was just the body. It's not too important since the fact that we're dealing with drafts, so I could just delete it here. And then in theory, if you had the attachment, it would be attached already. And then on top of that, we have uh, the you know contents of the email. Your search for AI-driven content creation and here at WebCAF AI provides tailored solutions like AI-generated articles, social media posts for the restaurant industry. Leverage our expertise to boost your online presence and marketing efforts. For a smooth onboarding, please review the attached PDF. As always, you'll be able to find this zap in the description below. So go ahead and click that and add that to your own profile. If you feel like you learned something so far, make sure to like the video. It is completely free and it really helps us here at Web Cafe AI. But without further ado, go ahead and check our other videos on our channel as we go over a bunch of ChatGPT and Zapier automations. And finally, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.